hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is from horizon is it horizon horizon american uk make your choice horizon horizon or horizon make your choice so uh, the video says all men need to see this man as smart as smart as wife after she tried to take everything from him okay this is the same title as the other video let's check it out this is Kevin De Bruyne's ex-wife, who cheated on him with Courtois, who was his own teammate at the time. Heartbroken KDB wanted his revenge, but luck was not on his side. Years later, he finally got his opportunity. While his ex-wife was present at the stadium, he got a penalty against the guy who stole his wife. It was him versus Courtois, and this is how he got his revenge. I actually have found that I think men are more likely to have bizarrely unrealistic expectations. I have so many girlfriends mm. who are highly accomplished, highly educated, great people, and just wonderful women, and the dating pool is absolutely brutal what for them. What are these men looking for? I, it, it is entirely unclear to me that it's like, why are there men not jumping to want to date them? So, if <laughs> Well, Alicia, those are not bizarre and unrealistic expectations, because reality is that ultimately men want to build a family, okay? And most men don't want to be with an accomplished and educated woman because those women are entitled, demanding, and a pain to deal with. Even different studies would tell you that that's the case. So most of your accomplished and educated friends are very likely to end up with a cat instead of a family, just like Whoopi. Great coach was going through a divorce. Women being these divorces. You gotta get my bag and run. <laughs> they're trying to rob you for the most part. Like, oh, I'm I'm trying to rob you. I'm trying to get as much much money as I can because I'll never be in this lifestyle again and I have zero ambition to earn it on my own. So I am gonna try to rob my husband. That's that's the typical mindset. But Miami Heat looked out, they looked out for Spostra, right? They look, 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 look. We know you're going through a divorce. We know your ex-wife is going for everything but the kitchen sink. We know she's... Can't you get it through your we know this. that I'm broke? We know it. We know it. We know she was a cheerleader. You married her. You elevated her life. Now she, she hits you with the... I'm not happy. <laughs> and now y'all getting divorced. We know you got three kids and she, you know, she made sure to put your ass on child support expeditiously. So we gonna wait till all that shit settled. And then you go get your hundred and twenty million dollar yeah. Okay, hold on. It may be, maybe. Pay. This better be a ticket to Dubai for two weeks straight round trip. Because you know I've been wanting to go to Dubai. Open it up. <laughs> yeah, read it. What is this? You know what it is. I just want you to know that I know Nevea is not mine. She's what? not my daughter. Why did you do this tonight out of all nights? Why? Because I wanted you to know that I know Nevea is not mine. I've had doubts. What so doubts? I went to that DNA test. Nevea is not mine. She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? She loves you though. Why would you do this? She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Why would you cheat? I didn't cheat. Why would you cheat on me? I didn't. That's proof right there. DNA test. Nevaeh is not my daughter. But babe, really? Out of all days, you had three years to give this to me. Now you want to give this to me? Uh, Husband boarded his flight and left without his wife when she insisted on getting Starbucks at the airport after he said they didn't have time. In a Reddit post, the man explained the situation, saying that he and his wife were flying to visit his 21-year-old daughter who was away at college. The husband said he's very type A and hates to be late, but his wife, who is his daughter's stepmother, has a very different go-with-the-flow type of attitude. The couple managed to make their first flight on this particular journey, but the connecting flight was another story. They got to their terminal and had about 15 minutes before the next leg of their journey. 
But the wife insisted she wanted coffee, and the husband offered to get it from the market right next to their gate. She insisted, however, on going to Starbucks, which was nowhere near their gate. He told her they did not have enough time, but she went anyway without him. As the plane was boarding, this husband called his wife four times to ask where she was. She finally answered on the fourth call and said that she was on her way back to the terminal and that the line at Starbucks was exceptionally long. The husband went ahead and boarded the plane after the gate agent said they couldn't hold up the flight. He full-on left his wife behind. He mm -hmm. told her her to get a ticket for the next flight and that he'd see her when she arrived. When she finally arrived at her stepdaughter's school, this wife had nothing to say to her husband and after a week of the silent treatment, she finally told him that he was wrong and shouldn't have boarded the plane without her. But ultimately, the wife is responsible for her own actions. Yeah. The husband also has a responsibility to be there for his daughter when he says he will be there. The wife was only thinking about herself and made her husband decide between her and his child when she decided that the coffee was more important. Having your man book you a trip and then leaving without him and bringing your friends with you has got to be one of the most diabolical things I've seen. Hey, babe, I just booked a beach house to celebrate your birthday. Oh, my God, babe, I love you so much. My friends can come, right? Your friends? Yes, I'm only bringing Victoria and Blessing. Yeah, I guess. I thought, I thought it would just be the two of us, but it's okay. The house can contain six people. All right, baby, thank you. Hey, babe, I'm patting and ready. Should I come pick you up or we meet at the airport? Oh, but I thought I already told you. Told me what? Oh my God, this is kind of awkward, babe. Promise you won't get angry. Angry for what? What happened? Just promise me first. Okay, I won't. Fingers crossed. You know I love you. She better than me. You don't tell me some shit like that. I'm already mad. <laughs> shit. Yeah, babe. I love you too. What happened was since the house can have just six people, I already told my friends I celebrated with them and we're six in numbers. I meant to tell you I'm so sorry. So? Five can come along. Don't worry. We left already. Huh? We're already on the airplane to the beach house. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you. What are you even saying? On a trip that I fully paid for? I know, babe. I'm so sorry. You promised to forgive me. I organized everything for both of us. Me and you. I paid for everything. I only allowed your friends because it's what you wanted. And now this is what I get? Just please tell me you're joking. Tell me this is a prank. No, it's not, baby. I'm so sorry. Babe, are you there? Babe? <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I know you understand. That's why I love you. What this man does next? <laughs> Somebody please give him a medal. Somebody please give this man a reward. He deserves it. Hey, babe, we're at the receptionist. They can't find your name there. What name did you use? Babe, Miss call. <laughs> why aren't you picking up the phone? <laughs> Where are you? Another Miss call. Babe, please respond. Yes. She's checking the system and she can't find it. Try using your name. Okay. Still nothing. Y'all picking up on what he did? <laughs> she can't find it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I canceled the reservation. Woo! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I hope you understand. Why would you do that? Please don't embarrass me like this. I'm really exhausted. I need to rest, please. You've always said you wanted to make stupid decisions. You can start by sleeping on the floor. Please, baby, this is so embarrassing. We're all tired and hungry. That sounds like a personal problem. Then this nigga said, go hunting. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Go hunting. By the way, I also canceled your flight ticket. You can walk your way back to. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, babe. Please. Just let me come back home, please. Babe. Babe. <laughs> All these missed calls. Please pick up, y'all. And now, I, I ain't gonna lie. If this was out of the country, I probably wouldn't have done that. Like, I'm not about to leave you stranded in another country. Like, that's a little, that's a little fucked up. But if we in fucking Texas and you went to New York or fucking Miami and you pulled this shit, oh yeah, nah, find your own way back. So I came across this and I had to bring it to you guys' attention. Soccer player, Kaka's ex-wife, says she divorced him because he was the perfect husband. Said he never mistreated me. He was always loving and kind. He was a great father, a great provider. He was just too perfect. And I just wasn't happy. <laughs> Somewhere Pookie and Ray Ray is rubbing their hands like Birdman right now. Because she is getting ready to be in for a rude awakening. This is the reason why many men have given up on marriage. Because you can have the money. You can have the success. You can treat your family great. Give them everything they could ever want and desire. Be good to your wife. Knock her down the right way. Lick it the right way. You could do everything right. And then she'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. So I'm going to divorce you. And we got two kids. There is no sense of honor and duty towards marriage. Even when the guy is perfect. She herself said this. This is not coming from him. 
This is coming from her. Now, what's going to happen when she goes out into the dating world and she finds out things ain't so sweet? She's going to come running back to him and he should not take her back. I realized today that I have nothing to offer a man. Nothing. And I feel like it took, number one, it took me uh, 32 years to realize it because I just found that out today. So I was today years old when I realized it. And then um, it took me a lot of pride swallowing to be able to admit it. Um, I'm going to tell you why I feel the way I feel. This is not based off anyone else. This is only based off myself. But I just wanted to share it just in case it may help somebody else. I feel like I don't have anything to offer to a man because a man asked me what I had to offer him. And it was the way he asked that made me realize that I don't. He simply stated, I realize that you're single, but tell me what would I benefit from having you as my woman? Now, outside of the basics, like, oh, I look nice, I can cook, I work, I didn't have nothing else to offer. And the reason I realized that I didn't is because I got to thinking about myself and all I've been doing for oh so many years is just working and taking care of kids. I don't know necessarily what I'm into. So there, there goes hobbies. I'm not necessarily sure my feminine level of energy because majority of my relationships, I wore the pants. So how can you as a woman offer to be a woman to a man if you've never fully been a woman? I am a woman because I'm a female, but I'm talking about like actually be a woman, like to a man. I've never experienced that, so I don't know what that feels like. So I can't honestly say that I have anything to offer as far as a woman outside of just being a woman. So that means all I really do have to offer is some pussy because I'm a woman and we have one. That's really not enough. Do you know what the sad, the sad thing is? A lot of ladies who watch that video and I start telling her, oh, that she needs to love herself she needs to choose herself oh girl you are the prize any man getting you should feel honored society is gradually making women start thinking like that they all and be it all that you know men should be bowing to them because they are women and Somebody you say now that she has found this new knowledge, what is she going to do with the knowledge? Are you going to better yourself or are you just going to turn it to a new identity? And every day you come on TikTok and start making videos on how you discovered you didn't have anything to offer a man. Now that you've discovered it, I wish you would have gone a step further to say, okay, this is the way I want to better myself. I'm giving myself this target and this goal. Maybe in the next three years, in the next three months, in the next four months, the next six months, I want to do this. I want to get this so that the next time I'm having this conversation with another man, I have so much more to give as a human being, so much more to offer. Because whether we like it or not, if you're not bringing anything to any relationship, be it dating relationship, be it your friendship relationship, if you're not bringing anything, it's one-sided. It's bound to burn out. That's the sad, that's the sad truth. And women need to stop, you know, seeing themselves like they're everything. That a man should be happy, you know, being with them. And you see, I don't even know, like, I don't even know this new trend of women encouraging women to leave a good man. I've seen videos like that, women. And the sad thing is, when you read the comments, you discover that, oh my God, some of them don't have sense. Like, their sense have lost, you know, they've lost their sense long time ago. You know, like, my people will say, you know, Sense is chasing them, but they're running too far. They're running faster than the sense. Another one, you know, there's this common saying that some tall people, most tall people don't have sense. <laughs> it's what I had growing up. So you, you constantly hear mothers insulting their, their tall sons. Go and sell that your height and buy, buy sense because it doesn't. <laughs> they go and sell your sense. Go and sell your, your height and buy sense because apparently you don't have sense. Some women. Have lost their sense. It's as if they even had it to start with. I'm beginning to think that social media is not necessarily corrupting people. It's just giving us an insight, and you know, to how people have been thinking, or how people have been. Just that because you know we're limited to our immediate environment, sometimes you are exposed to only people that have sense. So you begin to think that that's how the whole world is operating, not knowing that that is just peculiar to your environment.
Hey, some people don't have sense. Like and subscribe, guys. Bye.